Hello! In this video we'll show you how, with the right NPS strategy, you can prevent churn. As you may already know, the Net Promoter Score, or NPS, is a customer loyalty and satisfaction metric. Created by Fred Reichheld in 2003 that measures customer experience and predicts your company's growth. It has a single purpose, asking customers how likely, on a scale of 0 to 10, they are to recommend your brand, product, or service to someone else. The results divide the customers into three types, promoters, passes, and detractors based on the direct relation between the customer's answers to the survey and their behavior. This means that customers who gave your product on 9 or 10 are the promoters. The ones who answered 7 or 8 are the passes, and the ones who answered 6 or below are the detractors. The formula for NPS is measured by deducting the percentage of detractors from the percentage of promoters. But why is Net Promoter Score important? As previously mentioned, NPS can be used as a predictor of business success and growth. Asking your customers about the likelihood of them recommending your product can give you a lot of insights about your product itself, from what key features are relevant or needed to your onboarding, communication, and customer service. Now that you see how important NPS can be, let's use it to prevent churn. There's a lot you can do after setting up your NPS survey, but creating a combination of behavioral emails, auto messages, and dynamic segmentation is key. Let me explain to you how to create each one. First, create a dynamic segment to have a close eye on your detractor users. If your company also has VIP or premium service clients, you should also create segments specifically for those customers within the VIP segment who gave you detractor mark. Many people add this due to the customer's lifetime value. Under people, go to contacts and add a condition. You'll see the drop-down menu, search for NPS rate. Since we're looking for detractors, you want to select less than seven. Now name the segment and save it. If you have VIP or premium service customers, follow the same steps to create another segment. Creating these segments allows you to follow up with lagging customers to re-engage them by communicating new features, helping them resolve issues, empowering them to become experts with your product, and use it as a condition for what auto messages based on their behavior. Now, let's create auto messages. Auto messages are perfect ways to engage detractors when they are using your product because it can create a more personalized experience. Dot they are great for a follow-up where you can collect valuable user feedback and do something about it. As for the content, the suggested notification style is the simple, because this format appears more like a personal message from an agent. It also lets the customer start the conversation. Dot to set this up go to trigger and use the event of on NPS rated. Then, go to Conditions and click on Load Segment to add the one you previously created. This narrows down who will see this auto message. That's it. The last step is automating a behavioral email for those who give you an NPS score between 0 and 6. This is another great way to follow up and gain additional user insights and take action on that feedback. Behavioral emails are created in the same way as auto messages. You can also create different emails depending on the services and priority of your customers. For instance, if you want certain customers to have immediate access to their customer success manager or other users to have a call to action to either engage in a product flow or reply to an email, you can create these segments to further personalize the customer experience. With all these on track, you have several tools to prevent churn automatically as each user will receive the right message at the right time. That's the power of Frog Ed's dynamic segmentation. If you still need more information about this cool customer experience metric, please check all our knowledge base articles or contact our customer success team. Thanks and have a great day.